Inside of our blog builder, we have the ability for you to create your own custom menus. So right now I am navigated to the blog builder and then menus. And this dashboard that you are looking at right now is an exact replica of the WordPress menus creation. So if you've ever created a menu inside of WordPress, then you know exactly how this works. But the first thing that we need to do is either select a menu to edit or create a new menu. Well, right now I don't have any menus, so I'm going to click on create a new menu. Now, when I do that down here at the bottom, we need to give this a menu name. So I'm going to say my first menu and click on create menu. Now that we have that created, we can see on the left hand side, these options become available to us. And what we need to do is start adding items to our menu because right now we have nothing listed in our menu structure. So the things that we can add to our menu are pages, post, custom links, or categories. So right now I have one page and it's called testing page. If I wanted to add this to my menu, I check it and I go add to menu and that's going to add it to my menu. If I wanted to add a custom link, I can click this drop down, give it a title here. So we'll say buy now. And then I can include a link to my PayPal purchase button and click on add to menu. So now we have two items in our menu. And if I want to rearrange these, I can simply click and drag them and rearrange them. Now, if I wanted to edit the information inside of this testing pages, for example, I can click this drop down menu and we can change it from testing pages and make it say whatever we want. So I can click on the word testing pages and we can change this to where it says my pages, for example, to make it look a lot cleaner. And as you can see, it's now updated, but it's still going to navigate to that page testing pages. So we can add as many links as we want to our menu. Down here at the bottom for our menu settings, we can choose where to position this on the top, on the bottom or both. So I'm going to leave mine on the top and make sure we click on save menu. And just like that, we have our menu created and this can now be applied to our blog.